Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Can you tell we are out at the beach today? I know it's a gorgeous day in Southern California. Absolutely gorgeous. Clear beaches, you never know what you're going to find. But of course, news still continues, and we've got old Cam here with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, the President of the United States this morning on television said that the Republicans are totally responsible for all the disasters that are going to happen because all the people, the majority of the people, including the majority of Republicans, agree with him that he's acting responsible and the Republicans aren't. And that the Republicans refuse to, you know, to, to, fair, to do a fair and balanced trimming of the budget, which, you know, Basically, what they mounted to this morning, the, the press is all his doom and gloom has backfired on him because he now has to make everything happen by presidential order. Otherwise, he's going to really look bad. And when he puts his signature on everything or has one of his cabinet members making cuts where no cuts are necessary, he is the one that's going to get the blame. Right now, they're threatening him for refusing to do his job as president. He had a he had an order to cut the budget this morning. He, fi he figured the Republicans were going to back down and give him his new taxes. He never signed the budget, so he's in violation of the law, like he always is. So the Senate Democrats, you know, uh, basically sent him notice that uh, that he is in violation of the, of the statute. And if he doesn't do it, then they will simply do it on their own. Or let the government totally shut down at midnight tonight, and then he will take the blame for it. And Michelle Obama says curbing gun violence requires more than expressions of concern. Yeah, she's running for president. It's becoming more and more obvious. This morning she's also jumping up and down. And anybody that would dare say anything against her being on the Oscars, which was totally inappropriate, because, I mean, they... I don't think I ever remember a president or a first lady being on the Oscars. No, I mean, it's now, President Reagan was, of course, when he was president of the Screen Actors Club. That's right, but this is this is the first lady using the Oval Office for for, for political reasons. Had all of these members of the military, you know, carefully. You had to look. There was a black one, a Latino one, and an Asian, and a male, and probably there was a gay person in there. Political correctness. Political correctness, and it basically backfired because even the left said it was inappropriate. Because I mean. That you know that uh, it looked like that uh, she's trying to solidify her base for an election run, and that's what that's what the Democrats are saying. That they uh, they're now looking at an Obama dynasty, which I knew they were going to do. I just I figured that Obama would ignore the law as long as he controlled the Senate. Nope, he's going to pay attention to the Constitution, let her be elected by the minorities for two terms, and during this time change the law so he can become back as president again. Mm -hmm. And Democratic Congressman Blas Hannity on his show. Which was a mistake because this guy is basically a card-carrying communist and a member and, be and believes in the overthrow of our country and somehow he got elected to be a congressman from Minnesota. That they, okay, he's now saying, well, Sean Hannity was going to expose my, you know, my, my religious beliefs. Well, he's a member. He believes in the, uh, the is you know, Islam and the, uh, and the Church of Louis Farrakhan, which means, and he's in Minnesota. No, he would have never got elected by anyone in Minnesota if they had known about his past. And Apple re will reportedly announce stock split at tomorrow's shareholder meeting. They haven't done it yet. The day's almost up. So uh, what happened was the people at Apple have decided to dig in and uh, tell people, within, well, things are going to turn around within the next two years. So what they're doing is they're wanting to remove Cook and all those people upstairs. They're setting on almost $140 billion in cash in foreign banks. Oh, they are? Yeah, and they want that money to be paid out. So that if they're not going to use it to, for the company, then the company should simply pay that out in dividends to people. Mm -hmm. And the board of directors will go. It's sort of obvious. They want Cook to go anyway because uh, he's just totally, since, um, since Job's died, the companies went down the toilet. They, they put out an iPhone that was substandard. They put out a mini, mini pad that basically is a waste of money, so. And Downtown Abbey is expanding. It's cast for season four. I know. I mean, they haven't got the season three just started. What happens is, is that uh, when you get a soap opera going, you try to keep these things going as long as they can. And going and going and going and going, right? Yeah. 
And what the cannibal cop's wife knew is what no wife ever wants to know. He wasn't a cannibal cop. They've already set that up. There's just some name they gave to the guy. So oh, it is? Always not a cannibal cop. Uh, um, what, Michelle Obama, obesity fight is generational campaign. Well, yeah, it's got to do with, uh, she pointed out the fact that we are a family that loves and eats broccoli and all the healthy things. I mean, okay, she's got two daughters that are basically, if they saw a half a french fry, would both have strokes. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, well, no, she's got, she's got uh, both of them, or they, they, they're resembling the father, not her. But then she's trying to make certain that they, uh, you know, that they, they still got pediatricians at their age. Right. Oh, oh, they do? Yeah, no, because... it's kind of true. They are kind of old pediatricians, aren't they? That's right. And Russia leases planes to Cuba and writes off Soviet debt. Yeah, well, because Cuba has no money other than what Obama is going to pay them. Obama basically is going to open all of Cuba up for trade, you know, trade with the United States. The only problem being is that uh, they've decided to say that... Uh, that sugar now is totally dangerous to you. Michelle Obama's people said it's it's dangerous, it's also toxic to the system, and it's time that we start banning sugar. Oh no. Yeah, so. And Bob Dole or just Hegel confirmation as defense secretary. Yeah, man, that was ridiculous. All of these, and it, what I love though is after 24 hours after they made all of these stupid things in support of Hegel, Hegel basically did exactly what everyone said he was going to do. He's supporting the, the supporting the overthrow of democratic democratic governments. He supports nuclear powers in those countries. I mean, it's, he's anti-Jew. I mean, you get exactly what you pay for when you know somebody is some way, and you put him in office. Don't expect that he won't do. And Russia leases planes to Cuba and writes off. I know she liked that one. I know because I thought it was kind of interesting. Okay, uh, White House rejects GOP. I think we did this. GOP senators request to withdraw Hegel. Yep. Yep. John McCain's unlikely new booster, Jackie yeah. Collins. No, that's pretty unusual. Well, I know, because McCain's old and Collins is old. Oh. And T. Boone Pickens praises Bloomberg would be better off if he were in D.C. I know. Okay, uh, yeah, like he's basically, his, his likability quotient just totally fell the, the tell, fell today. He's to terribly disliked because of the fact that him and his, he's now banning two quart bottles of soda in the city, which he has no legal authority what? to do. Remember, if they can't get the people to go along with them, Democrats just do it, and that's what he is. He's a Democrat. And tanning parlors may misinform clients about risks. I know it's it, it's okay. You, 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 there's a risk in anything you do, and to tell people and not to now charging them. They, well, they're getting rid. They're now going to allow baseball suits for people to get hit by baseballs in baseball games now, even though it says on the ticket that uh, that you. Well, if you don't want to get hit. Don't go to baseball games. That's right. What right? happens is somebody somebody didn't catch the ball like they thought they were going to do, and instead it hit them instead. So so now the courts now have given them the legal ability to sue anytime they want. Oh gosh, four charged in Seminole outbreak. Well, yeah, it's just because, uh, but don't worry, Obama said it's because of George Bush and the Republicans. Mm. Yeah. And scientists, I know, it's like some of that stuff makes no sense. Yep. And scientists stumbles onto a cure for blindness. Oh, yeah, it's called gene... Oh, for color blindness. It's called gene therapy, yeah. But the problem is it has to be done before the kids are born. You really can't do gene therapy when they when they're born. So oh, because they're, they're already born. But you can manipulate any genes to do anything. You can make people superhuman if you manipulate them. And mom to be Holly Madison, who is nine months pregnant, has a plan to recover after giving birth. Oh yeah, I mean, basically all everybody has a plan to recover, which is ridiculous. You use the same plan, which is you just don't eat the same crappy food and you start exercising more. You do everything you're told to do when you're pregnant that you don't do. That you didn't do. Yeah. You, I think what usually happens is when people are pregnant, they use it as an excuse to eat whatever they want and gain weight. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then they can't get the stuff off. I mean, you know, like when you have too many kids in a row, it's almost impossible to get the weight off. Now this one's interesting. Former teacher and sexting champion sentenced for sending 4,300 text messages to students. I know. What? I mean... Oh, okay. That's why she's a former teacher. Oh, and the sexting champion? <laughs> yeah. was, was there a contest for sexting? I don't think so. Oh, 
I'm Christina Wagner. My kids don't want to watch Felicia and Frisco on General Hospital. I know. Okay, they're, okay, what happens is these soaps that are still in existence are having problems, so they're bringing back old popular people. So, you know, to try to boost the ratings, but it doesn't work because they're bringing back people in their 50s and 60s, so... And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, first of all, and this is really ridiculous. 72 is not the new 30 under any circumstances. What about 62? No. Or 52? The whole, the, what it was is they didn't explain it. They said that people used to die at age 30, and now they don't die until 72. That's what they mean, 72 is the new 30.